Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play a little bit of Shantae and the Seven Sirens. I've beaten this game. I'm working on a formal review of it. It's going to be kind of a long review, but we're going to play a little bit of it here to show you maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, okay? That's what gaming paraphilia is about. So, we can try to play it in the original mode or in New Game Plus. More magic, but less defense. And a coconut bra. Yay! Okay. But we're gonna do original. Uh, there's a lot of story. And I kinda wanna skip the story, but no, I'm gonna do that for you. I'm not gonna skip it for you, okay? Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. <sighs> this is the place. Time to kick back and relax. <laughs> Stay here for a whole week. Can you believe it? What? A week? <laughs> you picked enough for a month. Hey, I need all that stuff for the festival. Then I brought some unfinished projects from my lab. Ugh. Come on. Yep. The sooner we check in, the sooner we can relax. Bum bum ba -dum bum. I do like the how they're kind of like having more of these little character moments. To be perfectly honest, though, I feel like there's a lot of reused assets from um, Half Genie Hero so far. We're finally here. These are better, but I mean, they're kind of like moving a little bit, but they could be blinking. I would like a little bit more motion. I yep. think this might be my first real vacation, Uncle. That's kind of the like, there's bugs all over me mode. That pose, anyways. Indeed. Actually, I wouldn't mind like some actual movement for these. Aside from like that weird little, they're like we're slowly contracting here. Yeah, many. There's a bunch of um stuff under there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they find a spot with historical significance, build a fancy hotel, and laugh all the way to the bank. Uh -huh. Well, of course. Hm. Say what you like. I've always wanted to see these old ruins. Now Shantae's a big celebrity. I'll finally have my chance. Uncle. Uncle. I promise not to embarrass me. I would like a little bit more voice acting, to be honest. Maybe they could put out like a full voice acting pack for these. Ultimately, these would have to have like some kind of animation in these other than that weird contracting. Good grump. I won't let anything ruin my first vacation. But they're getting there. They're getting there. Oh, I do want to note something. You can see it in the far left corner over here. You see those little um, skulls rising from there? That's back from uh, that's back from Whiskey's Revenge and from, um, if I remember correctly, Pirate's Curse. Don't think they had those in Half Genie Hero. Which is under repair. Please mind your step. Ah. Loading, loading, loading. Keep that. Keep loading. Loading. There's a half genie festival going on, basically. Yeah. You've got our basic moves and stuff. <laughs> Magic carp is too blah, blah, blah. Monster cards. <laughs> nice. Shorty, the armored one, sickly one. Oh, and the tall, serious one. Well, you're definitely top four or five. Yeah. So mysterious. Yay. Let's get boring text. Yes, I know. The music's pretty good. Hello. All the way from Scuttletown. You Hello. Can call me you can call the me the mayor. Uh, hey. Yeah. 
It's got kind of like um, if this were voiced by an actual like I kind of feel like it would be voiced by um, what is that guy's name? He does J. Jonah Jameson in the uh, Spider-Man movies. What is his name? He was pretty good. He's like Tenzin, I think, in um, Legend of Korra. Let me look that up. What is that guy's name? Um, J. Jonah. What is Joe's name? Jameson, the actor. <laughs> J.K. Simmons. He's got like a J.K. Simmons um, feel to him. Yeah. Ah. It's a dandy backdrop. Gee, I hope you're not the bad guy. Certainly seen this place is packed, and you must be Shantae's uncle. Yes, we have managed quite to muster a crowd. Blah, 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 blah. All expensive played if they agree to be stars in my grand performance. The Half Genie Superstar Spectacular. Eee. Clap, clap, clap. Yep. No worries. It, no worries. It's just a dry run after all. Practice performance in front of a live audience. Something to work the kinks out. Don't worry, you'll be fine. And you have to go find the other five. It's like, oh, they're Half Genie. So I'll go find them. Got a checklist. There's a few fetch quests in this game, but overall, it actually has a um, a slightly interesting feel to it in terms of. Um, I'll just check the key items real quick. Yep. Anyways, there's a. Uh... Oh, you haven't saved your game yet. Save room is nearby. If you come and talk to me after you save. That's one that one of them, by the way. Save. I think my first playthrough of this game, I spent like um, 11 hours. Yeah. So nice um, it's you. possible to beat it a lot quicker than that. Okay. Boom, that's Harmony. Very first. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah. Generation of one. You see, there's little bits of darkness underneath the undercurrent of this game series, and I'd like them to explore that more. You're right. mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I'll wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One down. Other ones will be over here in the uh, stuff. We can go into there, into the ruins, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go over here. <laughs> Enemies! Oh, I do want to explain something interesting about this, actually. They've added... When you kill enemies... Sometimes... Oops. We're gonna kill this one in a little bit. Or we're not, we'll just we'll kill some other ones. We'll kill these. <laughs> Sometimes they'll lock this. It's a monster card. You can view your collection of these things on the subscreen, and what these essentially are is they're reminiscent of um of um Aria of Sorrow. In Aria of Sorrow, which is a Castlevania game, you can get these little things from randomly from defeating enemies. And they're like different little souls. You can collect a certain amount of souls to unlock different powers and abilities. Like for example, we got a Bat Monster card and uh, we need to collect four more of those to use what it has. And these of course alter the way your character works and they actually can make you a little bit stronger. Some of them are pretty useful in different situations. Um, pretty much like they're they're a pretty good little power up. Whip. All right, Gantuna. Of course, there these things come back from our stuff, and what they do is they heal you. Yep. Magic, of course. Wait, oh, yay! Two, three more of those, and we'll be able to use the bat monster one. So there's a bunch of those to collect. There's even some for bosses that you can get there special, um, which you get by trading them too, by the way. There's a um, thing which allows you to 
Um, see, this is a thing you can get too. It's a dryad or whatnot. See, look. Oh, tree troll monster. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what this one does. Mm hmm. Some of these actually have to work with like the sub weapons. Oh, and there's a lot of little hidden stuff. that for stuff. <laughs> These ones also drop stuff. Yo. Oh, here's the other one then. Yo! Yo. Oh, hi, are you one of the half genies? You're the performing the festival? What? Yes, my name is Vera. The town is right here on the island. Hers is hidden away too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the music's really good in this game, actually. Um, there's quite a bit. I feel like it, it works and it's appropriate. I guess the best way to describe the, uh, Shantae games... Hmm. I, I, I get lost vibes from those being hatches. But there's actually a sunken city, so... Hey, you got me at like, oh, there's a sunken city underneath here. I love sunken cities. It's one of my favorite parts of like Bioshock is that it's a sunken underwater city. I like that. Yep. There's these little snake monsters, which by the way will respawn. Yep, see they respawn. Which actually makes it a little easier to, to farm cards off of them. Which is why they, they remind me a little bit of the things from uh, Kid Icarus, the original one on the NES, because you could farm them for, for health and items and such. If I remember correctly, in the Game Boy Color game, you can actually farm these things for, uh, let's see, we need about 10 of those. Yeah, you can farm these puppies for uh, extra lives, because extra lives are kind of a thing that you need in um, the original Shantae for the Game Boy Color. Um, they kind of did away with that life system in later games, and that's actually pretty good. Each of the different Shantae games has been kind of a, uh, a push toward more um, quality of life features. Oops. No. Oh no, this is bad. Let's farm these guys for some food, though. Let's see. Yeah, we got this. Oh, we don't have any more. No! Give me... Drop food. Drop food. You can do it. Drop food or hearts. Mm -hmm. I want hearts. There's one. Ooh, other food, yes. Oops. Pokeball! First time you play through this, I think you should just kind of like savor like the story and some of the design. The bosses are pretty good. The um, game itself works pretty well. Uh, it's very nice looking. It's one of those things I'd call like a. Uh, it is your essential Metroidvania. It's got like um unlike um three and um four. There's not like a hub world essentially. With this one, it's more um. It's, it's more confined. You've got one larger dungeon and inside it are spots, which are little themed spots. So kind of in a way, a little bit like SteamWorld Dig or SteamWorld Dig 2. Or in this case, like I was comparing it to, uh, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And this is Plink. Yay. So we've got two more left. See ya. Yep, gee, I wonder if there's anything here. Hmm. Oops. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Doing terribly, terribly here. Boop, 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 boop. Kill him. Kill them all. How many do I need to kill? 
every last one of them. A lot of food. A lot of poke. Wanna poke? Yep. One, two, three. Um, oh, four. And we're just gonna ignore that spider. <laughs> That was bad. Eat. Oh, by the way, you can get extra of the cards. And if you get extras of the cards, you can trade them in for like cash or gems later on. Which is actually pretty useful for purchasing stuff. Oh, by the way, heart squids return in this one. I feel like, um,. The original trilogy had the best mechanics. I mean, the first game was kind of like a Castlevania 2. The third, second game was more Super Metroid-ish, but it had that really great um, jumping into the background mechanic that Wario Land for the Virtual Boy uses. And then, like, the third game, um, Pirate's Curse had that little weird hub world. It had the different themed islands, and it felt more like... Um, I guess the best way to put it would be like Mega Man Z X or Mega Man Zero. Yeah, kind of like Mega Man Zero. But yeah, there's a lot to those. Yeah, and of course this seventh, this game here. Sorry, not six digits of the end. The fifth game in the series is uh, interesting, unique. I'm not gonna talk to that person. Her um, dialogue is interesting. You should go see it at some point. I'm not gonna show it to you though. Bum bum bum. Do, 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 loading, loading, loading. There's a little bit of that. Very Metroid disc. Yay, crab monster cards. Gee, I don't have a super a spectacular way to climb or jump over that. Hmm. I wonder if you get something for that later. Oh, wait, yeah, you do. Crawling, crawling, crawling. Oh, the different effects that those have. Um, there's also some for the bosses that you can get, too. Bosses and some other characters. Overall, pretty good. My over -thought, overall thoughts on this game so far are kind of mixed. Um, there was some stuff about Half Genie Hero that I really didn't like. And I was like, ugh, I don't want them to go in that direction. And they kind of don't. This kind of shows that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes. Fill in. Fill in the blank. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Womp womp. Oh, why did I even hit that? Like that. Oh well. Let's get that. Lots of money. Do, do, do. And last okay. but not least. I'm Shantae. I'm Shantae. For Zapple. Yep. Zapple. Sunken City mm. Tour. Hmm. Huh? Magic is electricity based. Hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, really? Like, that's not a, um. Gee, I wonder if that's kind of a, a look at, uh, what, Lizard Cube stuff? Yeah. Or the remake of um, Wonder Boy. Those are actually pretty good. 
That's not what I would choose. Does a monkey wear pants? No. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Don't be late. Uh, some of the meta commentary. That's all five. Yay. Show's about to start. The other backstage. Do you want to hurry? Yeek! Which, by the way, um, let's grab this stuff here. Let's save. Game solved. Oh, you can buy stuff with that money, by the way. Health potions, magic potions. First stuff that you should buy, though, things like this. Mm. Actually, this is one of the most useful ones. I could go back out there and start farming some stuff, but nah, not yet. Oh, and by the way, there's heart squids in this game, too. Help them down to make more health for you. I don't have any yet, but we can find them. They're hidden all over the place. Um, where they're safe, for the most part. But yeah, we got a thing that we have to go do. Let's go save again. <sighs> I'm not going to show you too much into the game because I rather, I rather think that you should play it, especially if you're a fan of Half Genie Hero or the previous um, for any of the previous four Shantae games. I feel that this one is better than Half Genie Hero. Why the stand so packed? Punch the new girl! I'm sorry, I'm gonna relax. <laughs> You'll do fine. I was kinda hoping that one of them would be evil. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first ever Half Genie Festival! Now, take the stage had that from Heart Beyond about that Heart in the last game. Heart Magic, the shimmering stars of the evening, they are your spectacular Half Genie Oh, those stands are not packed. Partially. Yep. What could possibly be going on? <gasps> no! The half genie heroes mysteriously disappeared. And just like that, the festival was over. <gasps> the end. The next morning. Shantae, for the last time, let the authorities handle this. Oh. You're worried that I'll disappear too, is that it? It's for your own safety. Oh, she's not gonna say it. Can you imagine what it's like to be the only one behind? Hide indoors and do nothing. Be reasonable. Now, leave this to the mayor. Those girls are not coming back. Something weird is happening on this island. Hmm, you do I, what I you guess want. I... I was promised hmm. a vacation. And I'm going to get one. Fine! Be that way! <laughs> Last night was a disaster. Anyways, oh. this 
island is hot, and I'm gonna get to the very bottom of it. And technically, the yeah. Anyways, make your duty or something. I hope you guys have got the of dancing. You know what that means? You're my new favorite. Thanks, kid. I would like more um, voice acting. Hmm. Well, we need more money. But we got that attract thing, which is good. Because you're going to want that to get monster cards. Yep, yep, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can climb on those. Those animate strangely. <laughs> so let's head on out. Enderman, come over here. Do 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 do. Island East. Muckmen! Oh, yeah. Muckman monsters. Actually, what do they do? Oh, all food types get extra healing boost. Yeah, that's actually pretty useful. Um, I will use that. I would like to get that one. Oh, yeah. And tuna. Eight more to go. I like how they pop up, kind of like the things from, uh, a lot of this game owes itself to, uh, Castlevania. It's a cute Sylvania. Uh, that's horrible of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, actually, not really sorry. No, I like the series, though, so... I'm a little biased toward it. I should probably let people know that. That, yeah, I'm not a most not a most impartial person, but I'm not above criticizing when something's wrong. Like for example, a lot of this there is a, there's a point in here where you can't go back to the main area, and you kind of like run into it automatic like um, you all run into it while you're playing through it the first time. So I definitely recommend like play this first time to get the flow of the story or whatnot, and then go through it for speed running or getting different percentage stuff and all that. I do kind of hope there's some extra DLC, and there's some story-related stuff that I found kind of frustrating. But I'll get to that in a formal review. Many of the mechanics here, though, I like those. I like the mechanics, transfer, um, like, uh, traversal's fine. There's a bunch. Farming these things for monster cards. A lot of it's pretty fun, because, like, it, I play it the same way that I did Aria Sorrow. Where I was going in and out of um, rooms to, well, to get enemies, like to um, you know to um, get the little things from the enemies so that I can get monster cards. It's what I would do in Aria of Sorrow, which I'm going to be comparing this a lot to Aria of Sorrow. So get used to that. <clears throat> Aria of Sorrow though was fantastic, and let's just be honest, all the Game Boy Advance. Castlevanias, Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow, um, Circle of the Moon, and then of course the DS ones, which are Dawn of Sorrow, um, Order of Ecclesia, and I don't think there was a third one on the DS. I don't remember if there was. Anyways, those are amazing, and they really should get some kind of port. If anything, that's something that needs to start farming, the DS stuff, the Game Boy Advance stuff and the DS stuff. I mean, Capcom's done the right thing already when it comes by like Mega Man, Mega Man Zero, and Zero X, ZX, Z. Yeah, so Zero, ZX, and ZX Advent are all on the Nintendo Switch. And they've already gotten re-releases. The things that we need are the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias, because those are quite amazing. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm just farming stuff and you're probably like, Wah! Why? That's so boring! Not really, it's pretty good. I don't really have to worry too much about, oh no, I'm getting hurt. That doesn't really bother me too much. Because, honestly, I can kill it. There's a good amount of, um... Actually, that's what this needs. It needs a hard mode. Like, where enemies do more damage. Like, they do half a... They do a port, part of part for that, right? But I really feel like what they should do is a, um, half a heart. They could, um, they could make stuff do double the damage that it normally does. 
and then adjust the drop rates a little bit. Like, adjust the drop rate for cards, so you get more cards dropped, but then you um, get less, like, healing items dropped. So more money, more cards, but less healing and less food. I think if they did something like that, and then just, like, give us a little tweaks for that, because really, I really feel like there should be some DLC for this game. It, it actually had a pretty quick turnaround, too, which was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I saw a, um, a review of this from um, some other site. Um, from that guy that likes to talk really fast and be kind of snarky, even though he's really bad at games. <laughs> so, he didn't even mention the monster card system. And I'm like, really? Seriously? You're gonna do that? That's why I don't, that's why I don't, like, base purchase opinions on that. There are certain things you shouldn't base uh, purchase decisions on. Yellow, oh, sorry, um, white, um, stick figures on yellow backgrounds you shouldn't base purchase decisions on, and blue Muppets should not in any way dictate your purchase decisions. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, actually, let's go back and buy some of that stuff now that we've got that. Muckman! The Muckman Chronicles. Chapstick! I know, I'm, I'm just laughing at my own little horrible puns. Because I like making references to stuff. It's that kind of humor. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go in and buy some um, things. Basically, what I want to do is do, 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 let's grab these real quick. You can you could pile out the. Oh, by the way, there is a card that increases the amount of money that you get. Hmm. This one's good. Yes. Actually, recommend picking these up too. Like the Pike Ball is super useful. fireball as well. Ooh, let's buy an actual potion. We'll buy three of these. No, we won't actually. We'll save our money. Actually, let's make sure that these are... Oh, by the way, you can switch between your uh, magic by hitting L and R. This one, the um, pike ball is the most useful one of them, in my opinion. it does this. Wait, let me uh, activate it. Mm. Yeah, you see that? It's super useful. Mm. Especially when you're fighting off bosses. <laughs> that one and the, um, the bouncing one are good too. The homing missiles, eh. Fireball, eh. But the Super Pike Ball, it's from the, it's all the way back to the, from the original game. It's super useful. Oh, those things with stars are warps. Where you can get these little warp pads, and they they're good for traversal, because there's quite a few different bosses in here. Now, it, honestly, they ask, they sorry, they uh, tease seven sirens or whatnot, and there kinda is. Or, or there's kind of a ton. Or maybe there is. We don't know. Is the amount of sirens um, the same as it says on the box? Well, I, I'm not exactly going to reveal that. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Come here. I love those that they have that terrible little generic sound effect. That ah! it's kind of funny. That's actually a pretty good card, and you should farm them. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if there's something you can get to charge to that later. Hmm. There's our favorite little snakes. another nugget those actually um, finding those actually adds to your um, your completion that is they allow, it pretty much like if you upgrade that that actually allows you to um, do a lot of damage to stuff yeah super bowl plus <laughs> well there's a couple more story stuff that's coming up and I'm not going to reveal it but yeah, this is Shantae and the Seven Sirens. A real quick look at some of the gameplay, a little explanation of how it works and all that. And um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, the share button, the subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.